like what do you think about living in america and like living in a world where we're kind of taught the truth but not really taught the truth yo we are back for another shot for shot reacts i guess that's what we do now huh? <laughs> yo like uh this this bo burnham train we've been on has been crazy i just want to give a shout out to everybody in the comments uh i'm gonna start responding to some of y'all personally um <laughs> but this is my you know verbal thank you for just putting us on this bo burnham stuff and actually giving us good feedback because you know doing these videos is fun and introspective and cool but to hear your love for him makes you want to do a better job of being analytical and being, you know, who, you know, who we are at the same time. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank y'all. And, you know, I like the way that you described it. You said this Bo Burnham train. Yeah. And it is like a train, in fact, because it's a ride that um, I don't want to end anytime soon. It's, I feel like I'm going from the East Coast to the West Coast and observing all of the different scenery around me, getting to experience different parts of the country that I never knew existed, right. heard about. Right. And like I'm enjoying the whole journey. I like that. You know, you know? Yeah. And and uh, and I'm meeting some cool people along the way. That'd Facts. be you guys. So. Facts. <laughs> all right. So that's all what's right. up, man. So, so what we got? What we got? Uh so this one's called How the World Works. All right. I think this is also in his inside special, which is the one where he's at the end of the the all all eyes on me thing with the all eyes the on blue. me. Yeah. So like this is all in this room, I guess. And um, this is we're gonna. By the way, guys, we're gonna watch the whole special. We are gonna watch the whole special to the end, like all of it. <laughs> And whatever, and we'll come back and give you a, like whatever. But we're gonna treat this like it's the Avengers. You have to watch the movie after the credits. <laughs> we're gonna do that, okay? <laughs> so, cause I, I'm that dude. I'm that jerk. I will sit in that seat oh, man. until the lights dude, come you, on. Dude, when people get up at the end of a Marvel movie, I'm like, why did you come? Like, what are you doing? Like, you, did you only come for this part of the movie? There's the movie's not over yet. Like, it's like I don't it's understand had, that. It's has the it has had the Pavlov's effect on me. Now I stay to the end on every, every movie. movie. All like, movies it don't matter. All time. If, if I'm sitting down watching the screen at my house, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's a hurricane, the power go out. I'm still gonna sit there till the lights wait, come on. Wait, okay. <laughs> anyway, let's get to this video, oh, man. man. Let's get it. Let's How get the it. world works. All right, here we go. Super excited. Nervous a little bit, actually. Hey kids. Oh great. Today we're gonna learn about the world. Must be complicated. The secret is the world can only work when everything works together. A bee drinks from a flower and leaves with its pollen. A squirrel in a tree spreads the seeds that have fallen. Everything works together. The biggest elephant, the littlest fly. The gophers underground, the birds in the sky. And every single cricket, every Pause real quick. Man, um, you know, I, I I like this guy more every single time I watch him. Like, okay, like so we got like you know the first video we watched, he was on the piano and he had the shades on. That was weird. Uh, but it was cool. It was like you know whatever. Like, and the second video we watched, he was younger. He was on the stage. He was doing this whole production thing. Um, we know about the inside special enough to know he's in his room doing, you know, doing doing this whole recording, man. But like, to see how talented this man is, is 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 amazing. I mean, this this delivery is uh is playful. It's fun. This is another genre of music, if, if you ask me. You know, this is more uh, sing songy, like whatever, fun, playful. But I know this is a setup. I know he's gonna say some real things, soon. right? And that's what like, I was about to say. Like, so he, right we, now we see it coming. Right but, now you know he's saying? just baiting the hook. Yeah. I, so he yeah. got the he got the whole hue in the background. Yeah. It's, it's warm. Mm -hmm. it, I, I can almost feel it on my face. The sunshine. Right. You know what I'm saying? How the Birds world fly works. High, you know how I feel. Yeah. Vibes going oh. on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you better sleep with one eye open is what it's supposed We know who you then. are now. You can't fool us. <laughs> Let's go. Every single cricket, every fish in the sea gives what they can and gets what they need. That is how the world Can I make an early prediction? No, I like predictions. All right, so I'm just, I could be completely wrong. You, but it's you might be. So, you might be. So if I'm wrong, it is what it is. I, shoot your shot. I'm secure enough to admit my insecurities, right? So here's the thing. He's setting this up right now, but then I think the color is going to change. Mm -hmm. And then also, when you think about the circle of life, you got to think about predators 
eating other animals. You got to think. So death is a part of life and everything. Mm. So I think you're like, this also is how the world works. We're just looking at the positive side right now. So mm. I could be wrong. We shall see. Take your bets. Mm. That is how the world works. From A to zebra to the worms in the dirt. That's how it works. Hey, everyone. Mr. Rogers. Stop by to say hello. It's Socko. Hey. Where you been, Socko? I've been where I always am when you're not wearing me on your hand. In a frightening liminal space between states of being. Not quite dead, not quite alive. It's similar to a constant state of sleep paralysis. Socko, we were just talking about the world and how it works. Boy, that sounds complicated. Do you have anything you'd want to teach us about the world? I wouldn't say anything that you probably haven't already said yourself. I don't know about that, Socko. How about you give it a try? <laughs> All right. Here we the go. The simple narrative taught in every history class is demonstrably false and pedagogically classist. Don't you know the world is built with blood and genocide and exploitation? The global network of capital essentially functions to separate the worker from the means of production and the FBI killed Martin Luther King. Call now for your free tarot rating. <laughs> Listen, what? Okay. <laughs> what? I need a minute. I hold love, on, okay, on, there's a couple things I want to point out, right? First of all, um, I love that the, the, there's a playfulness between Bo Burnham, the character you see playing the piano and being all happy, cheery, versus the Sacco character, Mr. Sacco, who started off initially with some like like dark stuff from the beginning oh that's where i'm always at where you're not you know you're not wearing me in this state of like it, it, <laughs> when you think about it bro it's really like on some like you know like some sad like people who are who are living life and not really seeing themselves fully like you know what i'm saying like this mm. dark place type you know what i'm saying i'm in this place in between this state of barely living or just living to exist until the next time you wear me again so actually matter again Right, and then after that, he goes into the realness of and the darkness of this world. And I don't mean I didn't. I mean that was so that, that was there's like dark, yeah. and then there's like, yo, this whole world is bit off blood. Like I mean, like there's like there's how's there still sunshine on the screen? Why didn't it the colors should change? You were right about a lot, but the colors should have changed to some darker colors. But check right this now. out though. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna start calling him the cynical sock, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> he came out I like the gates. It. Cynical, Dude. Dude. you know, you know, like cynical as hell. Dude. But he's just being a realist. He's but this saying, is so he's saying like, yeah, you know, I'm sure I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything you haven't already said. Hey, I know man. this is how the world works. But I, let me tell you the other side of it. Can so I, that's can what I he's say doing. something controversial? What um, is this CRT? CRT. Critical race theory. Oh, uh, I mean, he did say Martin Luther King was killed by the. Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, saying it, not lying. I don't know. I mean, like, cause, you know, we've been taught in history classes that like. You know, America is a great place and we're number one and we're the best. And these wars were on purpose because we needed to do that and whatever. And he's saying, well, now nah, we're built off this whole world is built off blood and this is how the world works. And yeah, it's like when you when you peel back the eyes of like the innocence and say, well, it's not all, you know, rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a little bit darker. But does that make you feel bad about yourself or bad about the world or whatever? Or does it make you see the world for what it really is? I don't know. I'm waiting to see where he's going to go right, with it. Man. He, well, I, I think I know where he's going with it. Private properties inherently theft. And neoliberal fascists are destroying the left. And every politician, every cop on the street protects the interests of the pedophilic corporate elite. That is how the wow. world works. Really? That is how the world works. Genocide the natives say you got to it. Just real quick. So you remember in the first Bo Burnham video we watched, uh, this is the internet, he had his shades on. Mm -hmm. Notice that Cynical Sako has no eyes at all. So we can <laughs> go ahead and press play. That is how the world works. Genocide, the natives say you got to it first. That's how it works. 
That's pretty intense. No shit. <laughs> what can I do? Pause it. I love the, the, the sock. I love it. I love the sock. I think the sock and I will get along really great, even though it will probably get annoying after a while because they are very, very cynical. It's hard to see any light. Um, but, I, you know, when I watch this and I see, like, you know, the way it's done, um, first of all, the genius part of this guy is just at a, at a like we said it a thousand times. He's amazing. Um, but are we going to talk about some of the things being said in the video? Because I know we I know you're a vibe person or whatever, but I'm reading these lyrics because they're on the screen for me and I'm hearing it. And it's like, man, like, do you agree with some of the stuff that being said? Can we talk about it real quick? Uh yeah we can um I mean I have no objection. you you we we in in our last episode we did talk about in reparations episode in our podcast we talked about the natives you know what I'm saying the genocide that happened there you know what I'm saying we talked about reparations for them and, and what happened to them um like what do you think about living in America and like living in a world where we're kind of taught the truth but not really taught the truth like, uh, I think okay so I used to be one of those guys. That was like, they need to tell us the truth and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, it's no one's responsibility but our own to educate ourselves and to be enlightened uh, and to be enlightened about things. So I'm over the whole they need to be telling us this stuff. It's not their responsibility. It's not anybody's responsibility other than our own to be educated as to the degree that we want to be. A lot of people don't want to be enlightened, don't want to be educated. Ignorance is bliss. I wish I were more ignorant, you know? You know... Sometimes I, I I guess I understand that side of it, but at the same time, like now that I'm older, I wish I would have known more earlier. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like we got a we got a late start, man. Learning about finances when I'm in the, my thirties as opposed to my twenties or my, my teens, like learning about real things, like when I'm older, when I did the research myself versus I, I should have been taught some of the stuff before. Like I didn't know who my father was, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Until I was later on in life. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that I feel like I was with, you know, oh, for my protection, I don't want to tell you this. I'm like, well, I, how do you know I can't handle it? Mm-hmm. Like I think learning these things about ourselves and about the world and about the way the world works helps us navigate the world we're going into better. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. This is great though. Let's get back to it. <laughs> something i don't know just don't burden me with the responsibility of educating you mm. it's incredibly exhausting what just sorry, happened Sako. i was just trying okay oh. sorry there's a mic in. i'm sorry what didn't that what we just bro what we just yeah i've never seen this video before i promise i promise i've never seen this video before it's incredibly exhausting i'm sorry Sako. i was just trying to become a better person why do you rich fucking white people insist on seeing every socio-political conflict through the myopic lens of your own self-actualization? This isn't about you. So either get with it or get out of the fucking way. Watch your mouth, buddy. <laughs> Remember who's on whose hand here. But that's what I've... Have you not been fucking listening? We are in all right, all in a right, way. Right. Wait, wait, no, please. I don't want to go back. Oh, oh, oh. I can't go... I can't go back. Please. Please, I'm sorry. Are you gonna behave yourself? Yes. Yes. What? Don't. Yes. Sir. Look at me. Yes, sir. That's better. That Yo, that the. Okay. Wow. Dude. Yeah, but this is very interesting. What? Wow. So, so first of all, Bo Burnham, the real person, is a very cynical person. Um, and the reason why I say that is because um, knowing the truth is one thing, but how you respond and how you perceive the truth defines kind of who you are and how you think. So all that stuff he just said, I've known it, um, I've read about it, but it doesn't have the same effect on my soul that I can tell it had on him, which is personified by the cynical sock, right? So... Perception is reality. Those same set of passages, words, truths, and everything affect me totally different. Now, I know there are going to be a whole lot of upset people, uh, like 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 politically, because like it obviously looks like he has a side. You know what I'm saying? Like, would you agree? Does it look like it? you good? I, I'm trying. To, I'm just listening to you right now. I don't want to say nothing crazy because you know we're not on our podcast, but you know 
I, I'm listening to you explain your your point before I say anything. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you want to know what I'm thinking about what you're saying, I, I kind of feel like he does have a side. If there's a side to be had, I think he's really making a point to say that, you know, it's okay to like, you know, have an opinion and see the world for what it really is. And he's explaining it in a way that's like playful, but it's kind of like bothersome at the same time because it bothers him. He, he feels a certain way about that. He, the way he feels is real about the way the world works and about the way, um, you know, you see the stock was trying to explain himself or whatever. And he's like, Hey, remember whose hand you're on now? Remember who's in control here? Like that's a narrative that he, yeah. he believes in. He knows it's true. And it's like, yo, that's how the world works. Just, you know, <laughs> speak when you're spoken to. All right, I gave you a platform, but I could take it away immediately. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like he's making a point to say all these things. And I think that's important for him to get it off his chest, whether we good believe point. in what he's saying good or point. not. Well, let's um, see how they wrap it up. Hold on, one, oh, okay. Right before we do that, right before we do that, I hate to get off this, but like, yeah. is he really a ventriloquist too? Huh. I like I, that might is, be some off camera stuff. Did he record this? Like I feel like ha- he might have recorded this, and then it has to be because ain't because like ain't cause if he was good. a ventriloquist on top of being as talented he already is, then he's uh, a, a legend <laughs> in, in, the, in the world. I've never even met a ventriloquist mm-hmm. before. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. That's better. That is how the world works. That is how the world works. I hope you learned your lesson. I did, and it hurt. That's how it works. Mm. Dude. Yeah. Man. All right. Yeah. Man. Um, Is there anything we missed? Because last time we missed the mic drop and people got mad at us. Is that it? Okay, great. We good? All right. Sorry. Um, dude, what do you think, man? Yeah. Um. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I enjoyed it. You know, nice, happy, different side. Just uh, he showed us another happy? another. Yeah, it was it was happy the whole time. I mean, like, that was listen. That was the vibe. That wasn't the, the vibe lyrics. Was happy. Yes. Oh, see. Yeah, the vibe was happy, but the lyrics were real. Yes. So yeah, I enjoyed it. So. Overall, I enjoyed it. Something different. I, I'm a big fan of Bo Burnham. Yeah. I, I think I think my man's uh, is really putting his heart on these uh, on these videos and telling people how he really feels. It's kind of dark though. I mean. You got to be willing to go there if you really want to be a fan of this dude. But You do. I don't mind having the conversation. I'm with it. Well, I'm curious to find out what's the next Bo Burnham video that we should watch. Uh, y'all let us know whichever one gets the most uh, tallies, uh, the most li- whichever one gets the most likes, uh, then that's the one we'll go with. So give us some likes. Keep following us if you like this kind of stuff. That's how we know that you like it and we're going to keep doing it. Uh, we actually enjoy it. Guilty pleasure. My new guilty pleasure is Bo Burnham. I'm a fan. I already said it. Let's do it. All right. Shout for shot. Shout for shot.